Om Shanti. Welcome to 4th of October's Godly Blessing. When we think of burning away our sins, or let's say burning away the things which are around us, the muck, the rubbish which is there around the house also, we know that we have to burn it nice and strong. That means an intense fire. Similarly over here, God says that we can only transform the complete world, just like we're trying to transform the surrounding areas of a house, by intense fire of yoga. Now this yoga is a combination of self-knowledge and godly knowledge. That means who he is, who am I, and what is my relationship with him. Some people may say it's very simple, he's my creator, he's my father, he's my godfather. But then who is he, right? How does he look? What do I look like? And where does he stay? Where do I come from? And also, what is his role? What is his creation? People will say the whole world or the trees or the skies, don't you see? Well, there's much more than that. The whole world drama is his creation. And all the actors are given the part on the basis of their level of understanding of the creator. So here God says that may you be a world transformer who burns away the rubbish of the world with an intense fire of yoga. All the rubbish of impurities can be burnt away <clears throat> with the intense fire of yoga. Now what impurities are we talking about? We are talking about mental, emotional impurities. That is in a fire of love and power of elevated thoughts. Fire of yoga that is in a fire of love towards God and power of elevated thoughts. So love for God at the same time I am ready for change. I am ready to change for you. That's what we say, right, in a relationship. A boy tells a girl, a girl tells a boy. I'm ready to change for you. Husband tells a wife, I'm ready to change for you. Let's live this relationship for longer. Let's take this relationship ahead. Similarly over here, it's out of love and that love brings about change within us. In the memorial of the goddesses, it is shown that the devilish powers were finished in an intense fire. You see, that's why they show Ma Durga, Ma Kali. <coughs> And they're shown with those different intense fireballs sometimes with their different uh, you know instruments which they have in their hands especially for killing and there they show that that intense fire through their eyes through their mouth through their hands and it burns the sinner away it burns that demon away so God is saying that memorial is of this present time so, first of all, become an intense form of fire. That means have that zeal and enthusiasm to burn away the devilishness within us. This is not about killing somebody else. It's actually, how do you showcase that you have removed the evil? So, you portray it in a human form, in a devilish form, and you show them killing the demons. But it's not, it's not actually about killing somebody else out there. It's about killing the demons within us. So burn away devilish sanskars, that means habits and nature and become completely pure. You will then become an instrument of world transformation and burn the rubbish of the world in a fire of yoga and purity. So first burn it within us <clears throat> and only then you'll be able to burn it in others. And this is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris, that first transformation is within and then only you'll be able to help somebody out to do the transformation out there. Otherwise, there's no use. To learn more about this transformation that is supposed to be starting within, do visit the Brahma Kumai Center nearby you. Om Shanti, please.